Good day, people. I want to talk to you about the aloe vera plant and plant-based health. You can't go wrong with plant-based health, people. See, healthy living does the body good. Anyway, so aloe vera plant, low maintenance. I purchased this for about $4.99 at my local grocers. I've always wanted to use this plant because I love aloe vera juice. I drink it. It aids in digestion. It helps you digest your food better. And they said it also can help you release toxins in your body because it has antioxidant in it. It has vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin C, beta carotene, which is good for the skin, and zinc oxide. It helps with inflammation. So I'm going to tell you what I'm going to use it for this week. But I use it because it aids in digestion and it tastes good. That's the aloe vera juice. But I'm going to tell you about the aloe vera gel that are in these wonderful stalks. When I first bought this low maintenance plant, which only use just a little water to moisturize the plant, needs low sunlight, and so I keep it near the window and I water it once a week. Anyway, the stalks were half this size. Can't beat it. I've had it for about two months, but the stalks were half this size. It only had four stalks. Now that I have five. And I actually just cut off one small stalk, okay? So anyway, beta carotene, it helps with the skin and the hair. So I do use it in my conditioner. I will open up one of these stalks. I'm going to cut off one of these stalks. Uh -oh, um, so what you do is you cut off a stalk and you will see the gel. See the gel, people? Yes. Nice soothing gel. It's good for your skin. I'm going to put it under these dark circles that I get because I have bad sleeping habits, okay? So the inflammation will help if you have bags, but it's also soothing to the skin. I like to put it where my skin, is, my hair is very thin around the sides. Actually, they're getting stronger since I've been doing different healthcare products for my, um, to strengthen my hair follicles. But anyway, so AIDS and digestion, good for the hair and skin. Great for burns and cracked skin. I actually use it to exfoliate my dry feet sometimes and to exfoliate my hands. What you do is you will open up one of these beautiful stalks and you will take the gel out. Let's see, show you how it looks inside. Open up one of these beautiful stalks and then you shave out the, the gel. Add two teaspoons of baking soda and one heaping teaspoon of coconut oil. So let's say about two teaspoons of coconut oil. You mix the gel, you mix the coconut oil, and if you have any essential oils like peppermint or lemon or orange, put just two drops of that in it. Mix all the ingredients around, two teaspoons of baking soda, uh, shave out about a half a stalk of the olive oil gel, and two teaspoons, not two teaspoons, two drops of peppermint or lemon juice and mix it all together and you'll have a scrub. You scrub your hands and your feet real good. Leave it on for about five minutes and then just rinse it off good and you will have soft skin. The coconut oil along with the aloe vera gel along with the baking soda will exfoliate your skin but it will also leave your skin nice and soft. Do that maybe once a week and you will have be free from cracked dry skin. So the bait has beta carotene in it, it has an anti-inflammatory in it, and it tastes good to consume, but you have to be careful with the aloe vera juice if you suffer from diarrhea because it will um, exfoliate you from the inside, meaning that it, you, it may cause diarrhea if you have any type of issues like that. So aloe vera gel, why? Because it's an inexpensive plant that you can use healthy plant life you can't go wrong it comes from the earth it's healthy natural uses so you can use it in your hair your skin and i use it when i get sunburn in the summer yes i do burn i had sunburn before and i used to use the over-the-counter aloe vera gel but how how about we all know that anything all natural or plant-based it's good for you. So plant-based health, aloe vera gel has vitamin A, E, C, folate acid, which is good for women, folate acid, beta carotene, which is good for your skin. We know the vitamin E is good for your skin. Nice enzymes, amino acids, 
which is good for your body. You can't go wrong, people. Aloe vera gel. I would get a plant it's, it's, um, if I was you because if you don't have one, because it's low maintenance, it's inexpensive, and you can use it for plenty of health benefits. And if you're trying to grow your hair, it will help your hair with the shine, with the moisturizing, so you can put it into your conditioner. They say you also use it for mouthwash. You just have a couple um, drops of um, essential oil, coconut oil, a little bit of distilled water, mix it all together to gel, rinse your mouth, and um, you have a great mouthwash. Like, comment, and subscribe, people. Tell me what you use the aloe vera plant for or you use the aloe vera gel. Thank you for riding with me. Leave your comments. Tell me what you think. Let me know how I'm doing. And I will continue to bring you healthy alternatives for healthy living. Plant-based life. Get your plant, people. Like, comment, and subscribe.